What's going on guys? Today is the day that we're going to talk about inflation. Inflation is much higher than what you're being told. And I'm going to show you some economic data to actually prove that. But, but before we get into inflation, um, what was happening before the inflation? Because the numbers came out, inflation was like 8.2% last month. And let's go back two years during the pandemic. Uh, one of the things that I was doing was I had this rental car business and this was before the pandemic. Well, actually during the pandemic and actually during COVID. And I noticed that flat tires were a problem. And this was before the massive level of, well, this was during the massive level of inflation. And consistently, I had 60, 60 flat tires and I, I tracked this, right? And I noticed that this was a huge problem because I would get this phone call Hey, you know, I got a flat tire. You can fix it. And I'm like, did you rent the car with a flat tire? No. Well, that means you ran over something and you should fix the tire. And it got really contentious and people got argumentative. And the real issue is they didn't have the money. And this was before inflation, before the run up in real estate, gas, food, uh, rent. So what I'm saying here is before inflation, people were tapped out. Now, let's come back to why inflation is higher than what you're being told. During the run-up inflation, housing prices in Florida went up 30%. So just that one stat, this is something you can Google. Just that one stat, which would mean that inflation in Florida went up 30%. Not 6%, not 7%, not 10, but 30%. This is something you can go to Google and look at the increase, the inflation of houses for that one year and see that they went up 30 something percent. And across many metros, housing prices went up 20 to 30%, which is literally three to four times what you're being told that inflation is. Now at the point, housing prices are starting to come down, but they're still higher than they used to be. So even with the housing prices going down 50%, which they haven't, um, I think the highest number of housing prices has gone down is 30%. That still is higher, still 70% higher than it was a year prior. So here's the, the big problem. You're being told that inflation is this one number, but in the reality, average people's budgets from this time last year have increased anywhere from $500 per month to 2,000. I currently live in the high rise and I am seeing a lot of people moving out because when you renew your lease, they raise your rent, which I fully expected. And actually I was expecting a higher number than what they raised it to. But for a lot of people, they're moving out. They're moving out because this rental increase is quite significant for people on certain kind of budgets. And he, here's something that's really, really um, harsh. For your living expenses to go up 500 to $2,000, depending upon where you are in the country because food has gone up, gas has gone up, but your income is the same. 
And the people whose living expenses went up 500 are much better than the people whose living expenses went up 2000 because it's a lot easier to come up with an additional 500 than it is 2000. And this is creating a lot of different um, choices and people doing things differently. This is why I made the video talking about van life. And I actually posted in the community section that a lot of people are coming out those vans. A lot of people are going into vans. And a lot of people are coming out of vans because the more people who get into van life, the more people you get that will get into it and tell you the truth about van life. So we've seen a lot of people move toward van life. We're seeing a lot of people move to house hacking. We're seeing a lot of people move to, um, one of the things that I'm seeing is there's a lot of new people in the how to make money space. A popular video that they're making is how to make, it's called YouTube automation, how to go ahead, set up a YouTube channel, automate it, outsource the work and make money. And the average YouTube automation channel doesn't make that much money. So we're seeing, and this is something else that I'm seeing. Um, there are a few people in the how to make money really fast, make a lot of money and not work that hard space. I'm starting to see that their viewership is starting to erode because a lot of people are coming to Google. They're coming to YouTube. They're looking for how do I make money? They're looking for this information and the more people pile into this, the more people find out that a lot of these people are full of crap, that their information is total garbage and it's starting to reflect in their viewership because there's one, two, three, four, and all four of them were killing it in the YouTube algorithm. They was killing it. They put up a video, get three, four hundred thousand dollars, you know, three hundred, four, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand views, make a lot of assets money. And now they're all coming down because we have so many people who need how to make more money, uh, advice and they're piling into these spaces and a lot of people are starting to question these creators in the comments because another, the how to make a lot of money, passive income, selling low content books on Amazon. Um, all right, little backstory. I was a, I was in KDP and I was using create space to sell my books. I actually have a lot of knowledge about selling books on Amazon. And I'm going to say something that's going to sound very dismissive and it's going to sound very un un unkind. Anyone that is telling you that you can go out, find somebody in another country to write a book and create a cover and you can put these books on Amazon and you can make 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars. Um, I feel that they're toying with you. I know people, I know writers, I know a writer for a long time. He was writing a book a month. This man was a machine and the most his income got up to was 50,000 and he had a back catalog and he was a writer and he was promoting and he was putting his stuff out there. And he was consistently, I haven't checked with him in a while. I don't know what he's making, but the amount of work that goes into, you know, cover your niche, uh, they're making it sound like it's so easy. And that's why, like, once again, this is something I know about, um, writing books in Amazon, because here's what's happening in the low content space. There's so many people piling in with creating coloring books, journals and stuff. Amazon is starting to disallow these people to enter these niches because there's so many people piling in and they're getting garbage and junk on their website and it's not appealing. And Amazon is very much customer centric, very much about the customer experience. And this is creating a crappy customer experience. So 
Go ahead and watch these videos how you can make thousands and thousands of dollars selling low content books on Amazon. And go ahead and get you a subscription to Book Boy, Book Boat, and then try it and see how much money you make. Guarantee it's going to be very, very disappointing. And what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm seeing is we're getting into the point where people are suffering. Um, there's this point when you see bad outcomes coming. There's that point where you're in the position and the clock is ticking and it's just a matter of time before something bad happens. That's the preliminary state. So a lot of people have moved from the preliminary stage of something bad happening to the actual stage where it is happening. Evictions, layoffs, uh, all kinds of things are starting to happen. And these people are searching for answers and searching for, for solutions. And I feel that going forward, that the, the people who are in the how to make money space that are providing insufficient solutions are going to be called out and their viewership is going to drop like a rock because we're getting more and more people who are leaving the preliminary stage of something bad happening and moving to that bad thing actually happening and they're seeking solutions, they're seeking answers, they're looking for help and they're turning to online. I I'm going to share something with you. Uh, after, um, after the car rental business, there's another business idea I'm working on. I'm going to announce this to my students first. Uh, I'm going totally different. Uh, I watched a bunch of videos on this topic. And then I actually went out and found someone who's in the industry and we set up a consulting call and his first call was free. I learned more in that one hour phone call from someone actually in the business, who's actually doing it, who's making money, than I did watching 10 hours of YouTube videos. So I'm getting ready to do something different, but like I'm going to pretty much disregard YouTube for my day trading activities and for this new industry. I'm gonna disregard YouTube because in my opinion, and once again, this is just me, YouTube has become a cesspool of fake, fraudulent, felonious uh, facade of information. YouTube used to be, there were so many content creators that hung their hats on putting out really good information and it's become, how can I be the next Graham Stephan? How can I create all this clickbait content? If you've noticed, my content's changed. Uh, I don't really care if a video that is factual, accurate, real content, I don't care if it doesn't get a lot of views. I don't really care. I feel that the people who are looking for that information will find the videos and they will take action. And I'm totally, totally different uh, tactic, totally different um, approach to YouTube because what I feel in the future as these people pile into this space where they need help, that it's going to be really hard for the fake, the fraudulent, um, the unhelpful, the hype men for them to exist. I feel that is where we're heading. And I feel that in the future, my content that's not getting a lot of views now, but in the future, it would get a lot of views because people would be looking for real solutions, not pie in the sky, not hacks, not assumptions, not aspirational stuff. They'll be looking for real strategies that provide real dollars. And I, I, that's why I feel that in the future, it's going to be much, much better here on YouTube because as these um, con artists are rooted out, 
we're going to move to more people um, doing YouTube to be helpful and to be of service because like I said, inflation is way, 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 way higher than what you're being told. And, you know, depending upon where you are, depending upon your economic circumstances, you feel it. You really know it. You're like, this time last year, I was able to save an additional three to 500 bucks per month. Now I cannot save because I'm buying gas, I'm buying food, my rent's gone up. So, that's where we are and one of the things that is going to happen and I, I, I need to sound this warning you can watch all these YouTube videos where people will tell you how to protect your money from inflation if you do not have money above and beyond what you need let's say you're one of those people who has a million dollar stock portfolio and you have a pretty good job. There is nothing that you can do except sell your position and buy into bonds or perhaps dividend stock. There's a few things you can do to move your money around, but that's if you're in that position where you have a million dollar stock portfolio. But if you're an average working American where you're living paycheck to paycheck, there's absolutely nothing you can do to protect the money that you need to use to live from inflation because you have to spend that money to live. This, this, this is one of the things that I've seen. Like, I'm taking a different approach. Like. I don't get frustrated when I see this content anymore. I just hit those little three dots and I don't watch that content creator because we're getting to the point where it's about to get real for a lot of people. Amazon is no longer building warehouses the way they were building. Walmart's cutting orders. Costco's cutting orders. Target's cutting orders. And you have not seen what's going to become a wave of layoffs. Uh, UPS is not, not UPS, FedEx has already went on record saying they're not gonna grow, they're gonna shut down some, some of their facilities and more than likely layoffs will be coming. UPS, which has the Amazon contract is a little better insulated, but what's going to happen as we go forward is we're gonna have a wave of layoffs but from Walmart to UPS to FedEx to Target and Amazon because the economy is slowing down. And there's a lot of discussion, are we in the recession? Well, the recession's coming next year. Okay, the standard definition is two consecutive quarters of contracted growth. We've experienced that we are in a recession right now and anyone that tells you otherwise is politically posturing because we're there the only thing that is missing from this recession that is going to come is the high unemployment that's going to come in 2023 so what you want to do and listen to me is if you're in a lot of debt you need to work on that. You need to work on your debt. You need to get out of debt. Uh, if you've got cars, you, you, you need to do everything you can to get out of debt. Because at the moment, there is no credit crunch. There's no credit crunch. I mean, I've got like a ton of credit cards here. I got a bunch of credit cards this year and I've recently opened up a bunch of business accounts. There are no, there's no credit crunch at the moment. So what you wanna do is get as many credit cards as you can now, as many lines of credit as you can now, because in the future, 
this will tighten up. At the moment, there's no tightening of credit. You can get car loans, you can get credit cards, you can get lines of credit. But in the future, this is not going to be the case. So the time to go get active is right now. You want to start stacking that up. And you also want to have this stuff as a emergency protector. You don't want to, you want to apply, get it, lock it down, but don't use it. You want to have it in case you need it, in case something happens. Um, because like I said, inflation is significantly higher than what you're being told. It is significantly worse than what you're being told. And this is why the Fed is being so aggressive. We can expect a rate increase in November. We can expect a rate increase in December. And we can expect additional rate increases next year, which is going to kill the mortgage market, which is going to kill the stock market. We're in a new monetary policy era. The easy money that had propped up the stock market for 11 years, that's over. It may come back in spurts. The Fed may pivot for a moment, but as long as we continue to have this persistent inflation, the Fed is going to keep raising the basis points for the interest rates, which is going to impact the stock market, which is going to impact real estate, which is going to impact real estate prices. Now, I don't think we're going to have like a crash crash. We will have a crash in areas where real estate went through the roof. But here's the thing with that. Let's say, let's take, go back to Florida. Florida real estate went up 30 something percent. If we experience a 50% decrease in that real estate price, real estate prices are still 15% higher than they were a few years ago. So even with these crashes that are gonna be by market, it's gonna be market by market by market, it's still gonna be high and we have a shortage of real estate. And one of the things is, I feel a lot of landlords are in la la land because this is one of the things I do. I consistently look at stuff for rent on Zillow and I am seeing, this is something else I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of failed Airbnbs. I'm seeing a lot of people who are putting completely furnished houses up for rent and they feel because it's furnished, they can charge two to three times what the market rate is. And it's just a matter of time before they come off of that. But I am consistently seeing failed Airbnbs. And once again, since I'm looking through the YouTube ads, there's a ton of people selling how to get into an Airbnb, how to get into the short-term rental space. And we've got people who are in the short-term rental space who are exiting the short-term rental space because they're not making any money. So once again, we're going to see a big, big change in things. And I'm here to tell you, all right, let's just go ahead and just keep it a buck. You got bad credit, you're screwed. You're, there's nothing you can do. You, you cannot get an age corporation, check the credit plug, check the real estate trapper. We're all check, um, I can't think of his name, but I, I posted his name in the uh, community section. Um, there, this, this age corporation and the CPN stuff, CPNs will not work with Experian because Experian does a social security number verification. So CPNs are not gonna work with Experian. That's one credit bureau, there's two more. So if you got bad credit, uh, all of these hacks and tactics and stuff that you use to, to straighten up your credit real quick, ain't gonna work. It's just simply not gonna work. Uh, credit Plug did a video talking about um, how he got real business credit and he and I share similar experiences. I don't have any net 30s, I don't have any gas cards, but I have business credit cards from American Express, from Truist, from Revenue, uh, Divi, and Topargo, and I have lines of credit from Marcus Goldman, Goldman Sachs 
and Truist. And they all ask for bank statements and tax returns. Every last one of them. So this easy, quick money environment is about to disappear. It, well, for many, many regards, it's disappeared. And next year, I will not be shocked if I apply for a business credit product. I will not be shocked if they ask for bank statements. I will not be shocked if they ask for um, tax returns because this is the direction that everyone is going. Because once this, this collapse really starts, because here's the thing, we're still in the first quarter. We're still in the first quarter and things are not as bad as they're gonna get. And once things get really bad, because this is something else I found out, because I've been talking to people at my brokerage accounts and it's like, why is this so difficult? And they said, fraud. So the scamming and the fraud is nothing at the moment compared to what it will be in the future. So one of the things that you want to do is to get yourself a good cash flowing business. And this is the thing. You don't have to get you a business that makes you 10, 20, $30,000 a month. If you can get you a cash flowing business that makes you $2,000 a month, you will be able to ride this thing out. Why? Inflation has increased people's monthly expenses, 500 to $2,000 per month. So if you can go ahead and create a revenue stream of $2,000 a month, you're fighting inflation. That's the only thing you can do is make more money. <coughs> that is the only thing you can do. There, there's nothing else that you can do to um, tamp off inflation except make more money. That's the only thing you can do. So once again, inflation is significantly higher than what you're being told. And many of you actually know some, you're just like, wait a minute, you know, inflation is only 8%, but it costs me $30 to fill up my gas tank last year. Now it cost me damn near 60. You know something's wrong. You know that things are, but once again, we're in an election year. And once the election, because November is less than 30 days away, election day is less than 30 days away. And after election day, boom, it's all gonna crash. You're gonna see the stock market crash hard. You're gonna see crypto crash hard. You're gonna see a lot of stuff crash hard. You're gonna see uh, these companies, that's just when the wave of layoffs is gonna start. And once again, to protect yourself, you have to make more money. That's the only thing you can do. So, I got some new stuff that's coming out. So if you want to um, know, figure out, be part of this new experience, because I, I know I keep saying it, because I haven't sat down and mapped it out the way that I want to, but everyone that buys the program will get this new stuff. And I'm gonna work really hard on actually putting that information out for the people who need it, because I got a lot of stuff that's going on. And I'm gonna let the students know about the new business that I'm gonna start. And I'm going to, and you're gonna get a real case study of starting a business that's not part of YouTube not part of the internet. Internet kind of plays a role because I'm gonna have to, there's a lot of things I gotta do, but this is gonna be a tiff, totally different business model that I'm gonna put together and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it if you're in the program. So go ahead, get the program, and we will be working on that. All right, first of all, thank you to anyone that has bought any training from bschoolforhustlers.com. Thank you very much for supporting the business. I really appreciate you. Also, thank you to the Nerd Tribe for your well-constructed comments. All right, this is something that's been percolating, and I want to go ahead and go ahead and tell me, have I ever mentioned the art of holding business mentoring program on a YouTube channel? The answer would be no. It was $30,000, and I recently raised the price to $50,000. Now, let's talk about why I never mentioned this program on the channel. 
This is the Institute of Economic Thought talking about things that are going on in the economy. 99% of the people who watch this channel are not qualified for the mentoring program because you're going to need to have an up and running business making six figures a month for this to even remotely make sense for you. And I've had many people, including Income Cam, who came to my channel after I made my CPN video and went to the website. And he's like, you got this program, $30,000, man, I got stuff for the people. All right, let me go ahead and say something. You having bad credit has nothing to do with you being black. You having bad credit is you mismanage your credit. So Income Cam, that's a bunch of bullshit for the people, for the people. Let me say something. Um, I'm a capitalist. I believe in a capitalistic society. I operate, I work in a capitalistic society. And if you don't have the money for this product, big whoop, I'm not going to cry a river. I, and this is something else too. And this is something I learned years and years ago. When I gave away, and let's just go ahead and get to that. When I gave away 19 free business courses from this website, 95% of the people did not take advantage. So I learned that lesson that you could have things that are um, appropriately priced where everyone can buy. Uh, here's the thing, man. If the person who has a problem doesn't care enough to spend money to solve the problem, it ain't that big of a problem for them. So I learned that lesson, you know, for the people, for the people. I literally tried to spend six months giving people a business curriculum that if they had opened up the courses and put in the work, they would make money. And 95% of the people did not take advantage of that offer. And it, it was a very important lesson for me because at the time I was consuming a lot of Gary Vee content. Just give, just give, and just give, and just give. And I gave and it didn't work out because here's the thing. Let's go back to the art of holding business mentoring program. What does this include? This includes something that I cannot scale, my time. I only have 24 hours in the day. And I'll be honest, you want to know why my consulting packages are so expensive? I really don't want to talk to aspirational new business owners who want to discuss and talk about what they're going to do when they don't have a business up and running. I, I simply, it's just, I've been doing this 14 years. I don't want to talk to those people. It's not like I hate you, but it's a boring conversation. It's like, hey, you know, I got this ideal. I want, and I, once again, my time is not something I can scale. I only got 24 hours in a day and I do not want to be doing a bunch of talking to people on the phones. Like if my consulting was 500 bucks, that's what would happen. I would literally be spending a lot of time talking to people who have not broken past the mental barrier of actually getting started. So this is why I have never mentioned this program on the YouTube channel. This is why it's not even in the description box because I know the vast majority of people watching the channel. It's not a good fit. So it's pointless. But here's what I'm getting ready to do. B School for Hustlers business channel. This is what I got going on over here. You know, I, I get a lot of people like, it's only doom and gloom over here, man. It's just doom and gloom. I'm like, I have other channels. If you literally want to start a business, make some money, direct yourself to B School for Hustlers. This is where I drop the business content. And I want to tell you why. There's a different audience over here. I can literally, I've got 80,000 less subscribers over here, right? And I can put a video up here and I'll get three, you know, 15, you know, 1,200 to 3,000 views. And on the main channel, I'll get 3,000. So I have 80,000 less subscribers over here. And proportionally, I get more views from a smaller subscriber base because the folks who are over here actually want to start a business. They're interested in starting business. They're interested in doing the hard work. So this is some stuff that I will start talking about over here. And this is some stuff I will start talking about over here. Same thing. Way less subscribers, but proportionally, I get more views from serious people. Once again, you know, I appreciate the folks at the Institute of Economic Thought. I appreciate the well-constructed comments. But from a business standpoint, and this is something that I am getting ready to really, really work on. Like the videos over here are different and it is not the business content. So if you want uh, if you want business content, how to start a business, how to deal with credit, how to build real business credit, the fastest path to wealth, if you want this type of stuff, go ahead, go over to the corporate game, get to the corporate game, or be like this is a B school for hustlers is people starting businesses. This is where the how to start a business content is. This is if you already have a business, this is the business game for if you already have a business. Now, I will probably start advertising the mentoring program over there. I would never, ever advertise the mentoring program over here because 99% of you guys is not a good fit. It just doesn't make sense. And I am sick and tired of people skipping over the stuff that they can't afford with the coupon. This is like 2,500. This is 2,300. Y'all like, oh, I don't want that. I want the best of you, Glendon Cameron. I want the best of you. I want your best training, even though I'm not qualified, because here's something that I have learned years and years ago when I was doing Let's see, where is it? When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I was doing that. I had someone who already had a business who went from five and $6,000 a month to $30,000 a month. And I had a bunch of people who were new, who wanted to start a business, but they actually haven't started the business. And that should just illustrate to you the point that if you're still in that, I want to be starting something phase. Um, once again, I have love for you. I hope you do well. I hope you reach your dreams, wishes, goals, ambitions. I hope you do, but I don't really want to be part of it because it is annoying, it's frustrating because for someone, and this is one of the things that happened. And the reason I have this, because this, this comes from years and years ago, I had a friend and I was just saying, hey, if they don't know that I offer this, how can they buy it? So every now and then I will get someone, a business owner, someone's like, hey, you know, I see you have all this stuff for beginning people, but you don't have nothing for me. And it's true because the business owner, someone that's been in business three, four, five, six years, um, they have different needs. They have different requirements. They have a different situation and they're going to need some stuff to look at their marketing, their advertising. Um, like I'll tell you one person who got into the program 
because this is what happens it's like hey you've been watching the channel enjoy your content and we would just kind of do a custom bill for a business owner and i had someone who had a business they were doing five million a year running the business the uh, business owner was kind of running ragged and then i kind of stepped in and just did a few tweaks and we went from five million a year to a million a month just a few little tweaks because here's the thing the business owner had done a lot of stuff correct they had built business they had cash flow and the same information that you start a business and get to five million is not the same information that you're going to get the business to 10 million it's, it's a different set of skill sets it's a different set of management tactics it's a different way of looking at your business and this business owner went as far as she could go until i stepped in and that's what this is for it's not for the rank and file because like once again this, this is one of the reasons that my consulting package is so expensive i don't want to talk to you if you're just playing around with the concept of starting a business i don't really want to talk to you I've been doing this, like I said, 14 years. I want to talk to people. I, I had a great consult with someone who owned a pharmaceutical company and a great consult with someone who owned, they actually were buying and selling gold. This was interesting. It was exciting. These were really dynamic conversations. Now, for the people who want to start a business, this is what I do, group coaching. And a lot of you want one-on-one, -on -one, but once again, my most precious resource is time. So I can, you know, do a bunch of group coaching. I can, you know, 50, 100 people at the same time. That's something I can scale. And that's why I do it like this. You will not talk to me, get on the phone with me for less than 2,500 bucks. It ain't happening because that is a qualifier. If you look at the 2,500 and like you, you have a company, you have revenue of 30 to $50,000 and you've been in business, you spent money on marketing, $2,500 is not that big of a deal for you. But if you don't have a business, you just have a job, you're making 5,000, you're like, well, 2,500. That's a, that, once again, you're not qualified. And the, once again, I don't ever talk smack or crap about people not buying my products. What if you ever like, oh, you know, you broke, you can't buy my, never. But see, here's the thing. I believe in the abundance mindset today there is someone going out and they're going to drop three million dollars on the bugatti see i understand there there's so much money in the world there's a ton of money in the world there's a lot of money in the world and i get my share of money in the world so i don't trip i don't insult people i don't demean people for not buying my products you can't afford it you can't afford it but please stop contacting me and leaving these comments in the comment section about this program that you can't afford you want to know why you can't afford it Number one, you've not spent three to five years building a business and getting your revenue up to six figures per month. That's why you can't afford it because it's not for you. Um, like once again, I honestly, I actually thought about, you know, giving these courses away again, but all I'm going to do is get a bunch of lazy, do nothing people who's like, oh, it's free. I'm going to sign up for it. and going to do shit with it. Once again, my serious people are at the corporate game. My serious people are at B school for hustlers. That's where my serious people are. And once again, the serious content, I put up a video by Will Roundtree, the serious content just doesn't get the views because a lot of people just kind of want to play around with business. They're bought into this. Well, hustlers. You can actually make, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 thousand dollars a month, not work that hard, have plenty of time for your hobbies and your family and vacation while not working that hard. I believe that's complete and other bullshit. Here's the thing. When you start a business, you're going to work harder, not less, harder for three to five years until you shape it up, build your management team, you get it going the way you want to go. And then after it's built, after you've put a management team in place, then you can chill out and then you can relax. But in the beginning, you're going to be working more. But so many people have bought into this concept that, hey, I can like sprinkle some hustle dust on this and, um, yeah, I can get all this money and I can be hanging out with Big Booty Betty. Um, it's just not happening so once again please stop leaving comments in the comment section stop emailing me about this program because you can't afford it and i'm not mad at you like once again i've never advertised this on any channel and once again i'm getting ready to um shape this up for b school for hustlers in the corporate game because i do have some new group coaching that's coming because once again i'm gonna say something i don't have an inferiority complex i feel that my time is extremely valuable i feel that my wisdoms and insights are extremely valuable and um yeah you know if you want to put something together and you are a business owner you've already done the hard work you've already got to start it maybe you know i've had some people that i had to help them switch up their corporate structure and you know it, it's a whole different game dealing with a business owner that has built a business has cash flow because they've done a lot of things correctly and it's so much more fun and like i said i, I do like <clears throat> the live trainings are coming back uh, there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen um probably november and december and you know like i said if you don't have a business i don't like hate you or nothing like that but i don't want to talk to you on the phone for an hour talking about what you want to do that's boring that's straight up boring and that's one of the reasons that i don't even bring up this stuff what you will see in the comment section is the program the intellectual property school that's what you see you see nothing about this nothing because like I said, I know most people can afford it because they haven't done the work so once again please stop contacting me pestering me asking me questions why should i hire you to do this versus an attorney uh, number one the attorney has never ran a business see that's the thing my experience is extremely valuable that proved that with being in the storage auction business writing a book making millions of dollars from a book from a book so like I said, you know, I got some new stuff that's coming up, some new stuff to help you guys out. So once again, please stop going in the comments. Please stop going to B-School for Hustlers and like, you know, like I said, I raised the price. You want, you want to know why I raised the price? To run people off. Because like I said, um, there will literally be a handful of people in the Art of Holding Business Mentoring Program per year. Literally a handful. Maybe 10, maybe 20 people a year. That's it. But that's cool. Because it ain't for everybody. It's not for everybody. So go ahead. Be on the lookout for the new training that's coming. And, you know, if you're serious about business, direct yourself to B-School for Hustlers. This is how to start a business content. In the corporate game, you already have a business, you know, because I'm getting ready to start talking about some different stuff over here. So this is where the serious content is. And this is where the, uh, the, the, the crazy stuff is. This is where I post the crazy stuff. This is where I get into it. This is where I just have a little fun. So once again, that's the thing. That's the thing, man. So thank you for your time. Thank you for everyone that's bought some training at B-School for Hustlers. We're getting ready to crank it up. Give me some time to define this, to set it up. And I will see you guys in the next one.